A while back, we talked about your brain waves, and, and, and a good metaphor might be is like your brain waves are like car gears, right? And they play a crucial role in your thought, in your state, in your emotions, and even your behavior. And there's four types of brain waves that most people are agreeing to, right? There's some other ones that people have talked about in the past, but let's, for, for scientific purposes, there's four types of brain waves that we're talking about. We're talking about alpha, we're talking about beta, we're talking about theta, and we're talking about delta. Alpha is sort of this relaxation, this daydreaming state. Whereas beta is more focused attention, it's about problem solving, and it's really honed in, right? Theta is more of a deep relaxation, a, a meditation type feeling. It's different than alpha, right? And finally, there's delta. Delta happens only when you're sleeping. It's a deep sleep, right? And your ability to switch helps us to improve focus, reduce stress, and enhance mental performance. It's like if you can check in, uh, check from one gear to the next, you quickly, you're being better able to manage life. And that's similar to a car, you know, managing the road. It's similar to, let's say, when you're exercising, switching between fuel sources. It's all part of this grand, proper um, function of your body and your brain. And if you do things like practice mindfulness, if you meditate, if you exercise, if you include a healthy diet, these things will help you to better switch between gears of brain, the brainwave gears, if, as we've been calling them, right? So how do we do that? So there's probably four main ways, right? So first is practice mindfulness and meditation. And it's like deep breathing, body scans, awareness of your mind-muscle connection, your mind-body connection. Secondly, is adopting good sleep hygiene. The better you get into to improve your sleep hygiene, the, the more you avoid screens, the more you get out of schedule with your wake up and your, and, your, and your bedtime. The more you improve your sleep environment, the better that your brain is gonna function and get into like a, a good rhythm where it comes to your functioning. Thirdly, it's balanced nutrition and less processed food. There's some links with processed food and, and decreased capacity of the brain. So if we focus a little bit more on the whole foods and the balanced nutrition, getting all the right nutrients, that's also gonna help the way your body functions, your brain functions. And finally, regular physical activity has been shown to improve the brain waves, the car gears as we call them. So you know, the more you practice getting in and out of these gears, the more you foster them and give, you the, give each one its proper due, you're going to improve your ability to be functioning in those states, but also moving from one state to another. And of course, the benefits end up being that you're gonna be more focused, you're gonna feel less stressed, and you're gonna have better mental performance. So start looking at your car gears, your brain waves. <laughs>